What's up guys? So I'm gonna do a little unboxing video. There you go. It's a 450 set screws. Basically I'm gonna use these on a for the computer, the hard drive. Because I was missing like See, I only put two of them in there, so I need one, two, three, four, four more screws. So yeah, let's go check it out. I'm stuck in this. So it's got different pieces. This is a lot of them. There's thumb screws, brass standoffs, M3, so M5 chassis fan, chassis chassis fans, main board insulation washers, CD-ROM set screws. So there's different things. Hard drive screws. That's what I need. The hard drive screws and the screws for the SSD. So it's this one right here. And wait, no, not that one. This one. I think it's hard drive size. I'm just gonna have to check if it's the same size. So let's take take this plastic off. It's not really an unboxing, but it's wrapped in plastic. There we go. I really need that. So we're going to open this. Certified, qualified little thing right here. Qualified certifi certificate, certified product. This product has passed the inspection. Inspector. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> Whatever. If I don't like it, I'll just return it. Okay, so let's look at the... So it's all in plastic. See? It's in different screws. So... I'm gonna try out the... Hard drive ones. Basically, it's gonna be these. Good thing they're labeled, so I'll be able to tell which ones. So they're wrapped in plastic, that's a good thing. So what I'm gonna do is uh, open up all these plastics. So you know, just put it in here. So this is what I'm trying to do. Basically, gonna open them and put them in here. Let's start off with the hard drive. Hard to open this with one hand. Okay, there we go. Try to open it with my teeth. So we'll check if these these are the right size. I'm gonna open up my hard drive and put them in there there we go I'm gonna put the rest there you go. I'm gonna do each one but I'll probably open them later since I'm not really using them these are the ones I needed anyway so I'm just gonna focus on these
gotta turn off the computer. Okay. So I'll just turn off the computer. Shut down. Okay. Okay. Just gotta shut this thing off and then I'm gonna open this and put and basically add the screws in there and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do just gonna wait for this to shut off there we go took a while so I'm gonna power off the power button right here and now it's gonna be completely powered off no lights so just make sure that it's not working so okay so now we can open the this side panel just screw so I can also replace these screws right here that's why I bought this it's got it in here See, it's basically the thumb screws one of these two right here, the the first two. Those are the ones that's you can just unscrew with your. That's why it's called the thumb screw because you can just use your thumb to open it. So here we go. Open that up. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna pull out these two drives right here. The ones I need to add more screws on. So let's open up the other side. Oops, I forgot to turn this off. There we go. That was the external hard drive. Well, you, it's not really external, it's internal, but it's the one I'm using as an external hard drive now. So now I'm gonna screw this one as well. So, and the one from the bottom. piece on the side there we go put this on the bottom or right, whatever just lay it somewhere so what I'm gonna do is unplug the top one Oops. okay so I'm gonna unplug which one was it First one, yeah, this one. That one, and then the power. It's the SATA. There we go. Okay, now that that's unplugged, I can pull this out. Because if I don't, it's not gonna go out. So this is the first drive I wanna add screws on. So we see this one right here. So basically, I wanna remove, I wanna add one here and one here. I thought it was more than that. I'm thinking of a hard drive because a hard drive is bigger. But this is an SSD, so it's so we're gonna look for the screws. Open up this, then we're gonna see if it fits. If it fits, then it's it's all good. So we're gonna lay that back like that. We're gonna try these. If it's not the same size, then I don't know. So I don't know. Let's check it out. I'm gonna get the screwdriver. So we got our handy dandy screw set. I'm gonna use these. See what we got. I'm gonna just look for the right size. It's not this one, so I'm gonna remove that. So I gotta look for the ones that'll fit these. So I just wanna see if it's gonna be the same size. <coughs> so 
I'm trying to find the right one. Let's try out. Try this one. It's the one that's called PZ1. There we go. So now we're gonna try to open it or try to put it in there. Okay, so it turns. That's the right one. So now we're gonna try to put these. See if it fits. If it's the right one, it's the right one. If it's not, it's not. Looks like it's not the right size. Let's check. So that was for hard drives. Let's try the SSD size. These ones right here. Hmm. Flat head. Wait, what? What if I... I'm trying to see which one it is. Chassis fan, SSD, hard drive, main board. Let's try these the small ones. It says SSD size. So let's try this one. Let's try again. Might be too small. Yep. It's way too small. What the hell? Hmm. I have to try every one of these. Let's try these. The ones that are similar to these. Because it's not CD ROM screws. Let's try these CD ROM screws. And they're kind of similar to the ones in here. So let's try that. Let's see. Okay, so it's these right here. Try that. I don't know. We're gonna check. Just experimenting around and see. I'm gonna try all of them if it until it works. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we have something here. Oh, it fits. Yes. All right. So it's weird. So CD-ROM set screws is the one that fits. What the hell? That is weird. Okay. As long as it works. Let's put the other one. doesn't so neither one of the hard drive screws or the SSD screws work it's the CD-ROM screw that is weird man I don't know who labeled these but they don't know what they're talking about maybe the brackets are not meant for hmm. all right as long as they work it's not the same color but it's perfect there we go don't have to worry about it flying all over the place Nice. Okay, we're gonna put it back in the slot. And then plug back the SATA cables. Oops. This is the power. Oops. And then this is the SATA data, the memory. I mean, the memory where the transfer data is. This is the power right here. The thick one and the small one. Okay, I think we're good. And then we're gonna do the other, the bottom one. That's the middle one. And pull the power out. And there we go. So it should be able to come out now. There we go. So this is the one I added not too long ago. The two terabyte one super fast basically had to get technical with the screws because it's not the right ones temporary 
So I'm gonna return these because <laughs> they're not the right one. Okay. Oops. Put that right there. So we're gonna put that just where I got them from, right here. <laughs> this is the one holding the frame. So I took the screws from there, but it doesn't even fit right. So I'm gonna put them back in here. Let's see if it. Hopefully, I didn't rip the thread. Nope, it's fine. I didn't screw it all the way, so that way it's not gonna. So that's where they go. Just gonna tighten this. There we go. Oh, no problem. All right, and then put the other one. So I'm just gonna have the new, the CD-ROM screws, which is weird. I don't know why, because it's way too small. The SSD screws. That's, I think that's for the laptop, and then the hard drive screws don't fit either. I don't know. Maybe it's for the older. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's add the, oh crap. I gotta hold it. I gotta add the thing first. Cause I won't be able to hold these in one hand. I gotta use both hands. Okay, just a second. Okay, I had to like put them in first like this. There we go. This one. Nice. Two more and we should be good. That should hold that in place firmly. You know, we don't really need it but... I mean, I do need it for this. Because it didn't come with the screws, which I had to order this separately. It cost me like nine bucks. That's annoying. This thing should have came with a screw, man. That's annoying as hell. But it didn't came with the screw, so that sucks. Aligned. There we go. Right, nice. So one, two, three, four. All right, let's go ahead and put this back into the. So you know, I don't have to worry about it falling because it's already securely it's pretty tight nice just put it back in here you can flop it around see <laughs> it's not like a hard drive because SSDs don't have any moving parts so you can do this all you want it's not gonna damage it it's pretty much much like your smartphone doesn't have any it's just a piece of it's just a bunch of chips, you know, <coughs> microchips and all that, or memory chip. I forgot, it's a VNAND, that's what it's called. So now we're gonna put back the power and the SATA. Here's the SATA wire. Then we're gonna put in the... Oops. There we go. make sure it's secure nice okay see I'm gonna show you guys the hard drive this is in comparison the the thick one the thick boy we're gonna show you guys the thick thick ass boy <laughs> so this is the the old school see how thick that boy is that's a thick ass boy man heavy and thick it's like weighs like a brick well not really but it's pretty heavy Oh, the way you open these, it's not even secured by screws. There's no screws down here. Because this thing is just plastic. So we just unclip that thing on the side. See, it's basically just clipped in from the side. 
not really that hard to take off even with one hand and these things you don't want to drop because these are very fragile unlike the SSDs those you can drop and it's, it'll still work no problem but these these are very you don't want to drop these because these have the spinning discs inside you know the spinning magnetic disc right here spins around right here with the actuator arm right here the one that goes like this that's how it reads the disc it's like a, you know has the magnet right here attached to the metal actuator arm and then the disc spins around really fast I think it's 7,000 rounds per minute 7,200 rpms that's how fast it spins so you want to be careful with these when handling them you know you don't want to shake them around or unless you know what you're doing okay so we're gonna put it back these I want to replace this one too someday ah got barbecue sauce I had some McRib doesn't really taste that good either oh, come on is it good? yeah we're good alright yeah the yeah, I, had, I tried it out it didn't I didn't like it I don't know it's not doesn't taste like it has the barbecue sauce on it don't taste no rib at all whatever they put in there doesn't taste good There we go. See how easy that was even with one hand. You don't even have to screw it in, you just click it and just slide it back in. Then you put back the power and the SATA. Like I said, in the future I want to get an M.2, which is the ultimate storage the fastest or even faster than an SSD well it is an SSD but those things are super fast compared to the one I have right now there we go clicked in place sure it's secure all right so we're good Okay, let's go ahead and close that. I'm go ahead and wait, I'll, I'll close this side first. Alright, let's go ahead. Oops. Don't put it in the metal. Okay. thumb screws you don't really need because they're just the thing sticking out okay see I'll show you guys how it works oops see look at that you just, you just grab it here on the side and rotate it so it doesn't need no screwdriver because it's just you just hold it Taken out. Okay, let's screw this over. There we go. Make sure it's aligned. Nice. Okay, let's put back the cover. It's really that simple, it's not complicated. You know, you know how to mess with screwdrivers and screws. It's not it's not like you're doing a experiment, science experiment. It's super easy, anyone can do it. Even a kid can do it. You know, just saying. 
might not figure it out the first time like I did when you first do it on your first time. But after a while you figure it out. The more you do it over and over. You know, that's basically with anything you do. The more you do it over and over, the more you learn. And then you just sometimes once you've done it enough times, you know it by heart. And you know, you don't need any more manual or instruction book booklet because you've done it so many times. Same thing with like you know working and all that. You don't know your what you're doing on your first day, day one, and then by the time a few months later or a year into it, bam, you're doing it without even thinking because you've mastered it. And this skill is not something you're born with; it's a, something you learn over time. That's why they call it experience. You know. Everyone learns at a different rate, at the same speed. So, you know, like I said, this is not complicated to learn. Anyone can do it. Patience and time. You don't even, even have to know any special words or terms. The simple words, you know. You don't have to be a geek or a nerd or a engineer to learn this stuff. If you own something, you gotta maintain it because you own it. You want it to work at optimum efficiency. Okay, let's turn it on and test it. Okay, should have lights on there. There we go. And a booster power on. Got the good, nice, works perfectly. Okay, so there we go. I didn't really mess with the wires or yeah I did mess with the wires and took it out I just put it back where they came from and everything's working perfectly okay all right I'm gonna mess with the computer now all right later peace